one of the things at Dimensional, Dave, that we talk about all the time is this idea of the feedback loop and working closely with our clients to understand their needs, what are they trying to accomplish, and then seeing if we can design solutions to ultimately meet those needs. You know what, uh, Jake, I, I, conversation is a two-way street. You know, I think uh, you, you often think about what am I going to say to the clients? How am I going to prepare for this presentation? Uh, you know, what am I going to say? Uh, there's the, the other side of that street, and that is let's listen to the clients. And, as, you know, as I get older, what I think uh, sometimes is the listening skills are actually harder. Uh, there are a lot of great speakers out there. Um, so I think we've really, really tried over the years to not only talk to our clients but listen to our clients. And, you know, one example I could think of is uh, of, of just a great dialogue and leading to a great solution was back in uh, 2013 when we launched uh, Short Duration Real Return. Um, you know, we had launched, we had launched uh, a tip strategy in uh, 2006. We made it market-like in duration. So you're talking about a duration that might be seven or eight years. Um, in 2013, uh, real rates start ticking up. And, of course, a seven-year or eight-year duration is going to feel the effects of that. And I think many of our clients sort of realizing that might be more duration than, than what they would like. And they start talking to us about, can you do a shorter duration uh, tip strategy? The answer is, of course, we could do a shorter duration tip strategy. But we, so we kept talking, we kept listening, and we started talking about credit. And we started saying, well, you know, when you say short-term tips, remember the T in tip stands for treasury, and we can do that uh, by treasury securities, inflation-protected securities. Um, but uh, you know, one thing with a treasury, you don't get a credit premium that comes along with it. And most of our clients that we were talking to were saying, well, gee, we'd love a credit premium. They're all for a credit premium. But it's, it, the corporate, corporations don't really issue inflation-protected securities in the way the U.S. Treasury does. So the Treasury is the only way to go get the inflation uh, protection like that. And we were showing them, look, th th you're right for sure that corporations in, in no meaningful way issue securities where the face value of the bond is indexed to, to, to CPI like the Treasury issues. But there are ways of combining uh, both a credit premium and inflation protection. There's a couple of ways of doing it. And the one that we talked about with them is saying, well, if we build a portfolio of nominal corporate bonds, which there are plenty and they're liquid and uh, transparent markets, and then overlay that with an inflation swap, then you could get that inflation protection from the inflation swap and still get the, the credit premium that you're getting out of these nominal corporate bonds. And that combination of the two delivers the effect of a, uh, of a um, corporate inflation-protected security. <music>